Hey guys, what's going on? Trouble Career today. We're going to be playing some Farming Simulator 2019 here on the Rolling Hills map. This will be one of the last episodes on this map for this channel, Squad Farms. I'm going to be posting daily on my channel. Links in the description if you want to check it out. Also in the cards above. Reasons why I'm not leaving the channel fully. I'll probably be taking the next month off, but I will be back in March or what I'm planning to do is post in February every other day and then or every day I don't know yet and then leave for March no I think I'll leave for May I don't know haven't fully decided yet squad mentioned it to me and I thought sure so we're kinda talking back and forth we haven't really decided what we're gonna do but anyway we're gonna be doing this for this may be the last time may not for this month um but yeah, I will be posted on my channel, so if you guys do want to go check that out, links in the description below and in the cards. So, we're picking some corn. We're going to be finishing corn today, starting plowing, starting to mow. We do need to get that hard worker running and rocking and rolling. So, there's not a lot of corn left. I'm just running this to kind of speed up the process on the corn, get him knocked out, get him ready to go. It's working good, running all right, and we got this little triangle left, so it takes him forever to turn around, so I'm just kind of going back and forth really fast to keep that moving. We'll unload the truck, we'll go ahead and sell most of the corn. Actually, I think we'll keep it. Yeah, I think we'll just sell it for, since we're probably not going to get cows anytime soon. Actually, we might. I don't know. I think we're going to create like a different animal farm like an animal farm and then just a regular farming map and we'll probably do the animals on the Wisconsin map or this new map that's coming out it's private I'm gonna try and get my hands on it we'll see if I can but anyway we're gonna go ahead and finish this really quick alright so we're all done we're gonna put out the auger actually we're not done we have to go over here but we're gonna get this picked and then we're gonna get that little bit picked there and we'll probably hook up the 89 to the plow start plowing this field get the mowers hired out and then we'll probably start hauling some hay and get these weeds worked in the ground so that they don't spawn back in looks like they're actually like the headers wearing but it's really not so it's kind of odd it looks it's like an illusion that it is but it's really not so we'll get this finished up quick shouldn't take us too long to do this little stretch there is some weeds in this the sprayer must not have got it, or the weeder dude. Little weeder, the little three-point attachment must not have got it all, which is all right, because we can accept a little bit of yield variation. All right, so we went ahead, got all the corn picked. We're gonna put it all in the back. I think the front's full actually, so we kind of have to put it in the back. If it'll unload, there we go. And so we'll get this unloaded. Shouldn't take too long. It is like 8,000. This combine does unload kind of slow need to get it all cleaned up. We didn't even really get the corn head all dirty. I'm surprised. Normally it's like full of dirt by the time you get done with the field. The combine's at 50% repair though and it's harvested all of our all of our fields so it's harvested these these two and them. Probably end up cheating in some money buying these two fields next. Just kind of growing up the farm. We'll see. But we're gonna get this emptied. It shouldn't take too long. Kind of trying to dump around this corner. And there we go. We'll put the auger in. We'll go ahead and drive up. Clean everything off. Get it all washed up. But we need to go ahead and start that mower next. We need to get him running. Rocking and rolling on that. And then, of course, we probably are going to buy some more sheep. We'll probably cheat in some more money and buy some more sheep. Because I kind of want to do sheep because they're pretty easy. Feed them grass and water. They're good to go. Same with horses feed them, well, hay and all the other, you guys know most of the stuff, hay, oats, all that, we do have some oats now, so we can buy a pretty good amount of animals, how much oats do we have as of right now, 55,000, that ain't terrible, we'll get this header washed off, get it dropped off, get the combine washed, get it unhooked, off here pretty soon we'll tab into the K7210 Pro we'll fire it up pull it out get it running alright so we're just gonna kinda cross the ditch we're gonna drop the mower in the ground switch it 
swing this one out, drop it down, kick it in, get it rolling. We'll go ahead and hire that worker out. He should be able to do most of the field. We're going to jump in this, attach him, take this one to the field. We'll fold it up. We're going to be running it 4650. We'll get him going to the field and we'll drop him off, come back to the farm, get the combine put away, get the corn all sold and maybe start hauling some hay we'll see we might save that for my video in my channel if you guys do want to check that out links in the description and in the card above so i think what we'll do we'll just pull up here and we'll back it in this driveway that way he doesn't stop right here and get in the way we might have to do the headlands just because he won't do them all and turn around in the ditch and there we go we're in the semi now Put the tarp on it, we'll pull it out. We'll go ahead and take it to the elevator quick. And are we on the front? Nope, we're on the back. So we switched it to the front. Should be able to unload it in the front. We're just gonna cross this ditch here real fast while we go into the elevator. Hit that, jump that over the ditch, and turn this way. We'll pull in here, and then we'll get it unloaded. All right, there we go. Hit the button to unload, get it unloaded. Should make a little bit of money. We're not gonna make a lot. It is corn, it doesn't sell for very high. Rather than beans, it sells pretty good. And then of course there's a pit that just like is like that. Probably should have leveled that, put some textures in it, would have been cool. Switch to the back hopper, get it unloaded. And then once we get this unloaded, so we got 16,000 off the front, probably get about 14,000 or less. Hope we're ease blocked. 10,000. 11, so about 11,000. Not terrible. So we'll go ahead and take this home real quick. And we can hook this onto the hay trailer now. So that we're ready to do that. Might as well just run the stop sign. Since it is a game and you don't really need to do anything because there's really no rules. Kind of do whatever you want. Probably could have just cut across the field. And if that was real life right there, you'd be in. You'd have to buy a new semi. So we'll take this up here. I think we're going to drop the trailer off right here just because it won't be in the road really. Because if we need that flex head, we'll also probably need the trailer with it. If we're going to be harvesting, we do have a nice new semi. We'll probably get some big old custom crews rolling here pretty soon. We'll go ahead and turn the wheels back up in here. I don't know if we can hook it on at an angle. Probably can't. We can hook it on at this a slight angle. Maybe. Let's just do this. Lift it up. Move it over. Oh. Come on, let me pick it up. There. There we go. Now hooked on. First time on the old semi. Kind of looks alright. Kind of looks kind of sweet. We'll go ahead and drive out of here. And this is basically what the level kit thing's for. So you can get it level. See, I just leveled it out. See, so if you had a, if you had a short pickup, you could do that. But if you have a tall semi, you could do this. So we'll put it about right there. We're we'll going to park it here. That's sitting in the field. We can get this washed up, put away real fast. All right, so we got this washed off. We'll go ahead and back it up. We'll turn. We'll drop off the corn head just on the ground like we had it last time. Drop it off about right there. Detach that. Back up into the shed. Turn the corner. Rip the auger off once again back in some more so now that we have that stuff put away let's go ahead and jump in this tractor here looks like whoops there enter fire him up we'll go ahead and run I think we'll just hire him going this way we will go ahead and flip that mower around drop it in the ground switch this one drop this one on the ground take off mowing some hay with it there we go and we will hit the hard worker button let him run we do have the tether sitting here bale trailer what else we gotta do we could buy some more sheep if we wanted to let's see how the animals are doing they should be good looks like we have to clean them we still have to give the horses hay probably should buy a little more a few more horses and i think we're gonna buy a bunch of white sheep just because we, I kind of want to get a lot of sheep, that way they reproduce faster. Because the more you have, the faster they reproduce. Faster the rate is. 
So we have the sheep in this pen. They don't need water. They don't need anything. I think we're going to jump in the mower. We're going to see what he's doing. Here's the mixer guy. Okay, so he got turned around. Fine. Okay. And we'll let him mow, and then we'll let the tether. Probably should just get in the tether and run it. Or we could hook on to the rake and bring it out. And we'll just unfold the tether. Ted these end rows real fast. Probably we'll wait till he gets down and then we'll ted him. And while I was backing up, I just remembered what we could do. We can jump in the 89, fire it up, and we need to hook on to the Oh, where's it at? Do we not have it in here? I wonder, I wonder. Subsoilers, where are they at? Actually no, it's under cultivators. Cultivators. Oh. So apparently one of these times I accidentally took out that. We're gonna go ahead and buy this, I guess. We'll lease it. You know what? We'll lease it. So this is an actual subsoiler. It's a pretty big old machine. I'm curious to see what do we got for plows. Just got that, huh? Bummer. Oh well, you guys wanted to see this big old nine shank ripper. We're gonna go ahead and cut across this field. Since we only have this field and the other field to do, it shouldn't take too long to run it real quick. We kind of just drive up here. It's pretty much what I do every time, just drive up like this. Unless I take the road, sometimes I do. I don't often do it. And here's the old ripper. So this is the ripper that Nick used. I don't know. I'm not sure. We'll go ahead and back up. Hit the brakes. Probably should have repaired this thing. Actually, we could right now. I want to see what happens when you get completely dead repair if the tractor just has no power or what it got. So basically we can unfold it. I don't know why they fold that a little bit up. I'm guessing because it actually goes past a little bit. It's kind of silly why they do. However, we're going to start him on a square field. Probably this one right over here. That one because it's easier to turn around. Easier for me to run the hired worker while we're doing some haying. We'll go ahead and do that. Turn. Now the reason this one needs plowed is because we bought a new... We bought this field new. So basically just run. 10 mile an hour. Just like that. Hire the worker out. Imagine that. He won't run. Oh yeah he is. Nope he's not. Now he's running. Nope he's not. Alright. So apparently we probably have to run this ourselves. Imagine that. Typical thing along the edge. But anyway, I'm going to end the video here, so hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, want to see some more content of mine, links in the description to my channel. But if you did like the video, hit that thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload, I upload, Nick uploads, Squad uploads, all them people. But anyway, we will see you in the next one.